So we are with Mr. Payam, CEO of Capella Space uh, with us. So let us talk to him to get more information. So uh, what kind of products you are showcasing today? So we're building a constellation of 36 satellites. These are synthetic aperture radar or SAR satellites. Uh, they're small, about 100 kilogram. Uh, we launched the first one last year. We're launching another one in the next few months. And then, and then we're continuously going to put up these satellites until we get to 36. Um, and we're going to be able to monitor anywhere in the world um, every hour of every day, all the time. And what's different with our satellites uh, compared to other satellites is our satellites use synthetic aperture radar. Uh, majority of satellites use optical sensors. And the difference, major difference is we can see through clouds. We can also see at nighttime. So we can do imaging during the day, during the night, uh, when it's cloudy, during the monsoon season. Um, and generally, we don't really care how the weather looks like. We can take imagery of Earth. Okay, uh, so the time of taking the image and providing information is very less. It's just about 90 minutes, I heard. Uh, so can you briefly explain about that? Right, so from when a customer asks us to um, collect an imagery of somewhere um, until they receive that imagery, at most it will take us about 90 minutes. So we'll be able to um, ask the satellite uh, pretty much immediately after, after someone asks us, uh, we can transmit that order to the satellite pretty much in real time and then it takes about an hour for the satellite to come on average to come over the region of interest to capture imagery and then when the imagery is captured it takes on average about another 30 minutes for that image to get back down to earth gets processed and then gets delivered to the customer um, so it's a very quick way of uh, being able to look at anywhere in the world uh, in pretty much uh, within 90 minutes So in the future, we're going to evolve the technology and uh, increase or decrease the resolution. So right now we can look um, at about 50 centimeter resolution. So anything that's bigger than 50 centimeter, uh, we can see and identify. And over time, we're going to uh, we're going to bring that lower to 30 centimeter, 20 centimeter. So we're going to be able to look at smaller things from space. Um, and really, the big objective here is for anyone whether it's government, defense, or agriculture, uh, uh, for a natural disaster, if there's flood, if there's monsoon, if there's some um, uh, interesting areas that government wants to look at, they'll be able to utilize the service and monitor it from space um, and, and, uh, and be able to do this really rapidly. So that's, that's where we're going with this. So what are the technical terms like accuracy? And the resolution is really important. So resolution means the pixel size. Uh, so when we say it's 50 centimeter, it means each pixel is about 50 centimeter by 50 centimeter. So pixel size is important. Uh, the quality of imagery is important. So the signal to noise ratio. Um, so you want a higher signal to noise ratio, which means you have more signals than you have noise. Um, those are usually the two important um, elements when it comes to the talking about the, the, the sensor. And then the, you know, how quickly, you know, revisit and latency, which we talked about 90 minutes, those are the other things. So imagine there's, uh, there's some flooding happening. Uh, and I know there was some flooding uh, recently. And so when flooding happening, usually it's cloudy, right? Which means uh, if you're using the typical sensors from space, optical imaging, they can't see through clouds. Uh, you can't really send first responders because it's flooded and maybe you want to see where the flood is Maybe you want to shut down the train. Maybe you want to figure out uh, which routes to use to send um, Help and so being able to map things as the flood is happening uh, Is really important and you want to do this as quickly as possible And so we can continuously monitor these areas that are flooded and help the first responders um, get some of the answers to those questions. Thank you. Thank you.